Welcome to RA Tire, powered by the Factory Talk Innovation Suite. Today, I'm going to give you an overview of our state-of-the-art innovation suite platform and how it empowers everyone from the C-suite to the shop floor to optimize manufacturing operations. RA Tire is a fictitious tire manufacturer created for the purposes of this demo, and it has 11 plant facilities located throughout Eastern Europe, Scandinavia, the United States, and Western Europe. John Kasher is our VP of Manufacturing and Operations with Global Responsibility. From this enterprise view, John and his colleagues can keep a pulse on the daily production KPIs for their enterprise. You can see tire production, scrap, energy usage, OE, cost for tire, and asset utilization. As we look out over the enterprise, John notices that OE is falling, so we we'll want to investigate which plants are causing that. So we start by clicking on our plant performance and, and comparing the plants to each other. It appears that Cincinnati is lagging in production and leading in scrap. From here, we can navigate to our Cincinnati plant to see what's going on. With the Cincinnati plant dashboard screen, we can see that OEE is indeed falling. And since Larry is our plant manager, we'll send him a message and ask him why OEE is falling. Larry can then jump into action by navigating to his plant details screen. From here, we can see that our plant specific KPIs are along the top. And then our area specific KPIs are over here on the left and they're circulating through so we can keep a pulse on each area. As we look out over our plant, we notice that curing, tire assembly and mixing appear to be having some issues. So first we'll start with the mixing area. From the mixing area screen, we could see that it appears that availability is, is lagging. As we look across our downtime by duration and occurrence, it appears that there were some unplanned gearbox maintenance as well as some unplanned bearing maintenance. And if we look here, we'll see this at alert that says that there's a total bearing failure predicted for mixer two within 17 days. Why would that be? So we can click here, we can see the data behind this prediction. It appears that vibration is, is erratic for the motor outboard bearing. And as we view our temperature data, it appears that this bearing was heating up and they must have lubricated it. However, throughout the day, it began to heat again, indicating that this bearing is going bad. Since this prediction has merit, our plant engineer can create a work order to replace this bearing. From here, we can go back to our plant screen and look into the curing area. The curing area, you'll notice the same template. We can see that, again, here our availability is low, indicating that there were some downtime issues, as well as a low quality percent. So as we look out over our downtime, we'll notice that there has been some bladder failures, as well as a failed steam valve. In the scrap, we'll notice that temperature is out of range. That may be explained by the failed seam valve. So we wanna create a work order that asks to fix that seam valve and confirm operation. We'll also notice here that there's a ticket increase coming up for light truck tires and the curing room needs mold changes. We'd like to see some data behind that. So we can see here what our curing room mold distribution is today. And it appears that we're able to keep up with the production demand. However, by Thursday, it looks like we won't be able to make enough light truck tires for light truck one and light truck two. So we we'll also want to put in a work order to replace some molds. Because we have brand new curing techs, we'll like to train them on how to take the curing presses down for maintenance and change out these molds. In order to train our newly hired curing technicians, we will utilize our curing press virtual reality experience built with Emulate 3D. 
With the VR headset on, the curing technicians can interact with the curing press like they would in the real world without needing access to the real curing press in a downtime event. This allows us to train them to safely bring the curing press down for maintenance, perform lockout tagout, and then complete the mold maintenance task in the virtual world. This has greatly improved the learning curve of our technicians. Emulate 3D has also enabled us to significantly improve our commissioning time for new curing presses by enabling us to connect our PLC code to the virtual curing press and simulate our controls. This allows us to de debug the code and simulate operation well before the new curing press is placed on the plant floor.